Hey everybody, it's Nicole here and I want to share my five tips with you to make sure that your home for sale shows as best as possible. So let's get started. The first tip might be pretty self-explanatory and that is get rid of the stink or any smells that might be lingering in your home. Common smells that like to linger are food odors, maybe you made a really, really great shrimp or fish dinner last night and you have a showing this morning, you're probably gonna wanna get that fishy smell out of your home. Things like pet litter, even dog hair needs to be swept up. On the other hand, you wanna make sure that your home does not smell too much like fragrances. If it is evident that you just blew out a pumpkin spice candle five minutes before your showing, the buyer is gonna walk through and think, hmm, there's a very, very strong candle smell in here. What bad smell may they be hiding? Tip number two is stop the noise. If you know that there is a dog next door that does not stop barking, maybe you live near a highway, off of a busy street, or even if there's a railroad track nearby, a great tip is to leave the TV on or play some quiet music in the background. Any type of quiet ambient sound that you can put in your home is a great way to let the buyer focus on your home rather than anything outside. The third tip is lighten up. It's no secret that the lighter and brighter the home, the more open and larger it makes it feel. So increase your light bulbs to a higher wattage and make sure your blinds are open. Tip four is to not only sell your home, but sell the lifestyle and the daily life that people can expect if they live there. You're gonna wanna get things like fresh flowers and maybe put them on the table. Maybe set your table with decorative plates showing that this is a very homey, welcoming place. Whatever you see in home decor stores like Pier One or At Home, just try to implicate those tips when you are putting together your home and picking out what stays and what goes. The last tip I have for you is to guard your privacy. I have seen so many buyers walk through homes and get lost looking at other people's family photos. It's crazy to me, but honestly, I catch myself doing it too. It's like scrolling through Facebook, but you're just walking through a house. You can see someone's whole life. Make sure you not only take down lots of those family photos, things like cheer team pictures and even graduation diplomas, so that not only are you guarding your privacy, but you're also not distracting the buyer. I hope that you found these tips helpful. If you did, like the video and share it with anyone whose house is on the market.